Hey everybody, glad you're joining us here to talk about Panicum virgatum, uh, the switchgrass. It's this big kind of bodacious uh, plant that's behind me. And man, wow, it's uh, really a presence in this part of the landscape. Uh, this is a native grass, Panicum virgatum, switchgrass native to North America, to a variety of areas in North America, used for a couple different things, uh, for ecological restoration, uh, for ornamental reasons, uh, but it's also looked at for its potential for biomass, uh, for bioenergy. And so uh, this is an important grass, one that you should know. Uh, the seed heads coming on right now and they're wispy and they're big and they're great. Uh, typically you're going to look at the blade of the leaf here uh, and it is a little bit of a sharp edge to it, almost a little bit like sandpaper, like the inside of a catfish's mouth a little bit. Uh, uh, kind of a bluish cast is very typical. Some are greener, uh, some are bluer. And there's different cultivars that are known to be more blue. Uh, there's cultivars that have a little bit of a red tinge to them. There are shorter cultivars, there are taller cultivars. Uh, one called Northwind in particular is very upright and columnar. Uh, and so uh, come on a little bit closer and we're gonna take a look at this plant. So here we're talking about Panicum virgatum switchgrass, uh, just the straight species, uh, so you know it. Uh, not a cultivar here, so big and kind of open uh, grass that definitely spreads out widely. Uh, and the richer soil, the more organic soil it's in, the more moisture it has, the more likely it is to get floppy in the landscape. If you want it to stand up a little bit taller, you're going to have to plant it in poor soil where it can grow a little bit slower uh, and make sure and uh, plant it in a place uh, that doesn't get uh, overly moist or overly wet. Uh, hardy from zones five through nine. Uh, this is planted as a, again, a prairie grass, a ornamental grass, uh, really for a variety of situations, but it really loves full sun. Uh, it's very easily grown in these average soils. Uh, and actually grows a little bit better for us in average soils. Here's a landscape tip. Uh, use as an accent in groups or masses, also effective as a screen.